welcome back to my channel. This is a review Tuesday and I am going to cut to the chase. As you can see, I got most of my makeup on because we are on G and today I am reviewing Glossier's Wilder Powder. I looked this up online. I do have multiple devices that I can look up online, but I looked it up on my phone and it's the middle of the night. It's 2.30 in the morning. No, it's 3.10 in the morning. My bad. And um, I am... Um, I don't have a lot of time. I'm on my way to work, but I thought it would just be the perfect test, right? Right before work or not just right before work, during work and see how well it sets and stuff. It actually set, it claims quite a bit. It says not to get in your fine lines, not to crease. It says to, it'll blur, um, blur pores. It'll set your makeup. It basically, it sounds like the perfect powder. So they claim. Let's find out. All right. I'm going to open. I do love Glossier's packaging. Super cute. It's, you know, the camera doesn't do it justice. It looks almost white on camera, but it's this super pale, pale pink color. And uh, as always, they have that little sticky thing, in this, in the, which I, I appreciate because, you know, during packaging, woo, yeah. During packaging, it's not going to ship well if it doesn't have that on it. So, I am going to use something. I have to say about We'll use. I do want to use my makeup sponge for setting the under eyes. And then I'm going to use this It Cosmetics brush to do my overall face. It's not a powder brush per se, but I think it'll work. Because I kind of want to press it more into the skin and it there's my cat. <laughs> and it's um, meant for um, foundation. Sorry. Bleep. My cat interrupted me and I could not think. I don't exactly set my under eyes. I just press the foundation or I press it in with a damp beauty blender. I think I'm finding this is the best. I say I think because I just started doing this like a few days ago. But I think it, I'm finding this is the best way because, oh, it also says not to do cake face or flashback. Just, sorry, just had to mention that. But anyway, back to why I use, I think this just is the best way for me because older and more fine lines, a lot of fine lines. So yeah, I think this is the best way for me. Since I have a little more on my sponge, I'm going to set this right up here. Love this sponge. This is from my recent um, $40, up to $40 um, review or challenge on Opposite Mondays. And, oh, I love it. It just, it's a best sponge. $4? No, nobody is cheaper. It's just awesome. I love a sponge that'll soak up the water and do its job. And it, it doesn't do anything bad. Does that make sense? Anyway. All right. Let's do the rest of my face. I know a lot of people are not setting their makeup anymore. I am. I find this just helps it not to move. Plus, I do put on powders. So, you don't want to. You do you. Don't set your face, but I like to set my face. I've been doing it for years. I feel there's other things to make your face go glowy again. It also promises not to make it look cakey, so. Uh, my ear, I'm sorry. I did something to it. It is so swollen and ugh. All right. Yeah. On to the subject at hand. All right. Not bad. I can't see. I mean, right now it looks like a freaking canvas, but I'm far away from the camera. So I'm going to scooch to the mirror real quick because I have no other mirror. So I'm going to go off camera and scooch to the mirror real quick. Could be the 
the foundation. It just looks a little cakey, but not too bad. Not too bad. I think um, a setting spray will help that. And I use, like to use Morphe's. Um, if you like my eye look, I will let you know that it'll be on Instagram. I was going to say I'll link it below. Nope. I will let you know that it'll be on Instagram. And then I'll let you know what it, I put on it. Or there, I should say. Okay, I'm going to go off camera, finish up the little bit of face work I have left, and I will be back for further or final analysis, first impression analysis. And then later on today, we'll do a final check-in. So, try that again. All right, I have finished the rest of my makeup, and yeah. Um, I have not did a setting spray yet, so... It's not that glowy effect yet, but I did put on a little highlighter, so if you see a little glow, that's why. So, yeah, I mean, overall, looking at it, um, I can't see where it says I have my fine lines, but I can't see where it's set in them. I don't think, <laughs> they're just there to stay for now. Sorry, <laughs> I'm getting older. Oh. It does look really good, really floss. I chiseled a little bit with it down here, not the way you think though, but nonetheless, I did. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna say it supports all those claims, but I do like it. It is a good setting power. I would probably repurchase it. It is a little on the pricey side. Um, even Jeffree Star's is a little less. So I mean, is it good to set the overall face? It's supposed to do both. So, I mean, why not? Uh, it's not great. It's not bad. And of course, I've got a creak in my head and it's going to, those fine lines are going to be there. That's because I'm old. Life. But, yeah, I would definitely give it, I haven't given anything an A+. plus. Oh, no. One thing I gave an A plus, or if I didn't, I meant to. I don't think I was grading on a grade system then, but I should have been because it deserved an A plus. Um, everything about it was my favorite. You'll see that at the end of the year. But if you want to just go through them, you'll see the one thing that I was just like, ah, about, mm hmm It was awesome. But anyway, yeah, ah. Uh, because I do a lot of this <laughs> and a lot of those crinkling the forehead, so it's not going to last that. Nothing can, nothing can. But overall, I think it's a good powder. So that wraps, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up for now. I will check in later with a final update and give you my final thoughts on it. Let you know how well it holds up. I mean, yeah, I'm going to have setting spray, but still, overall, and I'm, I always give my makeup a full chance. Um, I don't use it not with this and not with that because you know you want to give it a total full chance. You don't want to sabotage it from the beginning. So I uh, forgot lipstick. I'll do that right now. <laughs> you guys have a great day and don't forget to subscribe and I will I will check you. I'll catch you at my next check-in. Thanks. Try it again. Welcome back. All right, so it is up two o'clock in the afternoon. I have had this makeup on. Yep, I do this every single time because every single time I look in the in the viewfinder and I see my hair everywhere. <laughs> All right, I've had this makeup on for like 12 hours and I will try to clo get a close up here so you can see. Uh, you see, really? No. I can't, but awful. I apologize. My head itches. <laughs> um, I do not see a whole lot of separation. I'm looking in the mirror at the same time because my camera lies. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. Always around my nose because I am in the cooler and my nose runs and, you know, is not a whole lot you can do about that. I don't ever, ever hold that against uh, makeup ever but I will say chin is usually a problem area that's not too bad a lot of the times it's completely worn off I mean definitely it's it's not there but I feel like there's more coverage there than typical and I will give it that um 
under eye creasing. Hold on, let's see. Um, not so much. I mean, did it settle into those fine lines? Probably. I don't know many powders that don't. Um, if I ever find one, it would be worth 50, 60 bucks to me. <laughs> because, yeah, I got some problems because I'm 45 years old. So, I, I do realize, though, and I don't want anybody thinking I'm not grateful for having decent skin, um, that I don't look entirely 45. I, in my honest opinion, late 30s. And I think most people would probably put me there, if not early 40s. But I do not look like I'm pushing 50. I'm grateful for that. Um, just being honest, not trying to brag, just being honest and true. Um, so I did a lot of ums, a lot of ums. We're going to stop the ums. I think, I think, I think I'm going to keep on trying this powder. Uh, I put Jeffree Star's, I did buy his recently, setting powder in my favorites recently. So I'm just, I think I'm going to kind of flip back and forth between those. I actually have three new ones because in my winter favorites, which was one of my very first videos, not the very first, but one of the very first, I actually put Christopher Buckles, um, another um, yeah, go for it. Comment down below how many times I said um, I'd be curious to find out. His setting pair, well, his loose powder in the, uh, my, my, my favorites, so, as you can tell, my lipstick's gone and my eyeshadow is, yeah, it's, 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 it's had its better days. So, I wanted to go ahead and get, do this update now because this video needs to go up today and I didn't want it going up at 10 like it has before. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this now, but I think 12 hours is definitely decent wear and I, I probably should take this off anyway, so... If you would like to see what I wore or the colors, whatever I wore for this eye makeup, look, I will have it in my Instagram. And I, as always, I put my Instagram and my email in my, um, and I think my Twitter too. I think, I hope I did at least in my, in the description, in the description box down below. I got it. I got it. Aren't you proud? <laughs> So, I do have one other thing, because I said I was going to try to do this, and as often as I can remember to do it, I'm going to do it. Um, and I did, oh, mm, yeah, would love it. Just curious, somebody comment, how many times have I said, um, oh, that makes another shit. Okay, A cheap meal. This can, you can either... As cheap as two dollars, all the way up to seven, eight dollars, but as cheap as two. Spaghetti at Walmart, a dollar for the sauce, a dollar for the noodles, two bucks. Now, if you want to, if you like your spaghetti sauce meaty, I love my spaghetti sauce meaty. I'm a meat girl. What can I say? You can pay. Not every Walmart has this, but. My Walmart does. I've seen it others. I don't know if yours will. I kind of hope it does. It's a frozen roll of ground turkey. They do have a taco flavored and an Italian flavored. And I get the Italian flavored and I put it in my spaghetti. And it tastes good. My kids eat it up. It's gone. No one knows the wiser. It That brings it up to about $3.50. If you want to toss in some, you can make your own homemade garlic bread. Uh, most, mm, most people have about, God dang it. Most people have bread on hand and, and butter. So you toss that in the oven for like oh, four or five minutes. Not that I ever do it like that because I always buy the box of GV, Great Value brand. Garlic bread I was going to see him <laughs> for two bucks. So, I mean, there you go. You got, if you want to go that route, that's 550. 
or you can choose 350 or you want to put real ground beef in it. it's about three dollars a pound so you're talking two five another two for garlic bread seven so up to seven two to seven dollars that is i mean we lived off of that i mean it was like every other week spaghetti 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 if it wasn't ramen noodle and sandwiches which we'll get into that how much that costs later ha! then it was spaghetti so anyway yeah everybody have a great day don't forget to subscribe wow this is going to be longer than i thought this is supposed to be a quick two minute little check-in but nope it's ended up to be about eight minutes <laughs> don't forget to subscribe like this give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was entertaining and amusing and you just laughed your ass off as to how many times i said um <sighs> give this video a thumbs up don't forget to click the notification bell and comment down below. Yeah. Um, huh. <laughs> Have a great day. I will see you guys later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs>